what is going on guys welcome i made it to camp this trip is about me just enjoying camp my time at camp and kind of being lazy enjoying nature so i am going to figure out camp get it set up and then we'll go from there Camp is all set up. <laughs> all right, so this is how I have camp set up. Oh, here, let me show you guys real quick. So I'm in Tonto National Forest, surprise, surprise, right? <laughs> um, but I'm in like the Four Peaks Wilderness area. So Four Peaks is right there. It is right here. Those, those mountain tops you see right there, that's Four Peaks. And uh, also the road I came on is right here. Oh, there's a bird's nest right up there. Whew. It is warm today, not a single cloud in the sky. So a few things in setting up that I forgot, or that I should say I realized, is I have the spikes for this canopy, but I forgot the spikes for this pop-up tent. So I did do this right here, but the other three don't have them because last week when I went on my camping trip, I, uh, I bent two of them. And I was like, you know what I'm gonna do when I, when I was putting everything away since I bent two of them, I was like, I'm not gonna put them back in the bag. I'm gonna keep them out. And that way when I get home, I can fix them. Completely forgot about it until I was setting up camp. And I realized, I was like, oh, I don't have those. So I'm ho it is a little breezy. It does kick in here and now. It, it's beautiful, it's perfect, I love it. 
um it's not bad enough to where it'll screw over my tent and sleeping and all that stuff i'm hoping we'll see what happens tonight um it's i did check the weather there is supposed to be a light breeze no clouds um and in the 70s i think 40s 50s at night i don't know i'm pretty i think i'm 4,000 feet in elevation so i think it will get a little bit colder at night so my plan for this trip was to actually learn how to take star star uh videos star pictures astrophotography astro video whatever you want to call it a time lapse of the night stars there's going to be no moon tonight so i was looking up how to do it on my gopro so i'm going to test it out and see uh if i get a good shot all right i am gonna chill and at some point take care of the fire ring and fire stuff wood blah blah blah, blah. Oh. So I was cleaning up around camp, just picking up the trash that's around here. And I realized, because the wind has been kicking in and out, and it, it, it dawned on me that, give me one sec, hold on, let me get it out. So, because I forgot the spikes for my tent, I can't stake it down. But this umbrella right here, it has spikes, which um, it has, I think three in here and I don't use it because the sun moves so I have little sandbags that hold that down so I'm thinking if I have them in here I can stake the tent down and not worry about it not those not those dang it dang it Well, that's a no-go. Hey there, bud. Uh, I'm just enjoying my time and this cow showed up at my camp. Uh, so, you know, I was waiting for the sun to get over more so this could be in the shade and it's a it's a good point where it's in the shade and I can start working on the fire ring without the sun hitting me. I'm going to sit here and see if anything happens. Cow's just staring me down, man. All right, well, I want to work on a fire ring, so.
I got the fire ring all situated. I'm working on putting the wood and some more cows showed up. Can I tell you the two brown ones had their eye on me the second they came over here. The, the black one that at one into the bushes. Oh, look, there's another another one coming out. They paid zero attention to me. Hello. All right. So I'm going to finish up uh, getting the fire fire ring ready. And probably chill for a little bit and maybe start prepping my dinner. So that is the fire right now. I did um, prep my food. I'm, I'm using the campfire to cook my food tonight. So I'm gonna grill some salmon uh, for tonight and for uh, meal prepping for the rest of the week. Well, for some of the week, not, not all of it. Um, and then I'm gonna do sweet potatoes, broccoli, and carrots uh, on the cast iron over the campfire. Uh, Something I'm debating, I have been debating, I've been looking, um, where am I gonna set up the camera to do the star time-lapse? I was thinking of shooting in this, I'm gonna shoot somewhere in this direction. And the reason is, is because the sun is on that side. And so during sunset and sunrise, well, mainly during sunrise, um, once the sun, if I point it that way, once the sun starts to peak up a little bit, it'll just overexpose everything. So I figure if I shoot this way, it'll give me just a few more, I guess, seconds to get the stars before the sun um, overexposes everything. The only issue I have right now that I'm curious about, and it's I'm out here for, to do the star time lapse, are the clouds, as you can see. This side, there's clouds over here. It, we were supposed to have clear skies, I think all day today, tonight and tomorrow. I think for the rest of the week. But uh, I imagine the clouds are gonna roll in for sunset and disappear after sunset. So I'll get some awesome pictures or an awesome time lapse. You know, it is, I think it would be cool if a couple clouds did um, kind of appear through the night. Because when I have seen time lapses with um, with stars and then you see like this cloud come through, I think it's really cool. Clouds rolled in, not making me happy. A little worried. Started cooking. You can see clouds started to roll in over here. But I think they're just passing through. I don't think uh, it's going to stay. We'll find out soon enough. Guys, this is future editing Omar here. For some reason, my audio stopped working at this point. So here's me cooking my salmon. And then now here's my dinner. 
And now I'm saying I'm going to enjoy my dinner, the evening, probably some other stuff, no clue what. But my audio will resume in the morning. So I'll see you then. Enjoy the time lapse. Good morning. It got to 36 degrees last night. Pretty cold. But now I'm just warming up by the fire. Whew, feels good. So I took a look at the, the time lapse. What you guys think of it? It looked really good on the little screen uh, behind the GoPro. It looked good. The clouds looked cool passing by. I saw, I, so what ended up happening is because the clouds came in, I tried setting up my shot over here. Um, but since there were so many clouds, when I took my test shots, it was all just pitch black. So I went over by my truck and just shot it over there because I could kind of tell where the line of the earth is because of the sun setting. There was just a little bit of light leaking in so I could tell. And so I shot it there. And apparently there's a flight path there because you can see a bunch of planes. So while I was looking at the map, I noticed that there's this little symbol that says there's mining right over here. So that's where, kind of where I'm walking to. I guess they might have tried mining or anything. There wasn't like any name of the mine or anything like that. It was just like a, the little marker on the map. So I imagine they've done some mining here. So I just want to take a little peek see and then go from there. Another thing while I was looking at the map was I was debating whether I want to keep continuing this trail or just start heading back home. If I continue the trail, it'll probably be about 20 miles more until I finish it. And then I'll end up over by Roosevelt Lake and I'll, you know, it'll be a couple hour drive. But yeah, I'm still debating that. I don't know if I keep flip-flopping. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do it. And then I'm like, mm, eh, maybe I should do it because it's still early. Huh. huh. 
We got a fire ring right here. A couple fire rings actually. A couple crappy mid chip ones. A bunch of trash. You know, something I'm coming to realize is that when I go out and I'm like, I wanna go somewhere close to Phoenix, I'm noticing anything within an hour of the greater Phoenix area, you can do target practice and it's convenient for people to come out here because it's not that far away and they can do their thing. You know, the people can have their fun if they want to come out camping, do all that stuff. There's another fire ring right here. But because of that, the amount of trash, ugh. All right, so take a peek see. I'm gonna head up there just to take a look and then I'll head back to camp. So yeah, a bunch of trash, target practice. Oh, look at that. I don't get why, oh my God. I don't get why it's so hard for people to pick up their trash. Should've put my hiking boots on. All right, a whole lot of nothing. I imagine they came out here, were looking for whatever they were looking for, didn't find it and took off. Maybe found a little bit and then took off. Cause there ain't nothing. So if you take a look, my camp is like right there. And then you can see part of the road is right there. It just follows along here and goes that way. So I was thinking about continuing going this way towards Roosevelt Lake. But I just don't know. All right, well, cool. There ain't nothing here but a bunch of trash and a bunch of people shooting. <clears throat> so I've just been chilling, enjoying my morning. Uh, just enjoying the sounds of nature and peace and quiet. Um, a group of like, I don't know, 15 four by fours passed by. So like that's a good cue to uh, start packing up and putting things away. So that's what I've been doing. Oh, uh, the tent, because I didn't have it spiked down, it actually worked out fine. I had zero problems. So once the sun dipped down, uh, once, the sun, once it got night and it was dark, the wind completely stopped. There was like not even a slight little breeze. It was just dead still and quiet. It was beautiful. So I didn't have to worry about spiking it down on this trip. So yay for that. Oh, and I also, I cut my thumb. It's really not that bad. It's just every time I would pick up something or move something and use my thumb, it would just start bleeding again. So I put the Band-Aid on so it'd heal. It's crazy how much I'm just debating. Do I take the next 20 miles, add, you know, do all these things or do I just go the other way? I mean, my plan this trip was to do the star la um, time lapse and, and camp, not really explore and check out things. So I'm kind of leaning towards more, let's just head on home, you know, enjoy more time here, just chilling at camp, and then you can just head on home. We'll see, I don't know. I'm always, I always change last minute. You, you guys would be surprised how many times I get to my trailhead 
and completely abort the plan and go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go this way instead. Another thing um, I need to call myself out on is I have a budget planner and just a planner in general. Hey, cows. What's up? Someone's having a hissy fit. Uh, anyways, I'm calling myself out because I need to do better on it. I want to be able to, you know, I just like this year, I want to really track my time and my money to see where it's all going. See if I'm being, you know, spending time on stupid stuff, wasting my money on stupid stuff, you know, get a better idea. <sighs> all right. I'm just gonna chill. All right, fire is out, doused and done and over with. My truck is all packed up. I'm ready to get out of here. After debating all morning, do I want to finish the trail, check out the views, see where it's going, spend those couple hours doing that? Or should I just hightail it home and save it for another trip? I'm gonna save it for another trip. You know, this trip was me coming out here trying to get star photos or uh, star time-lapse which I did and there are some issues with it um, but hey great start all right guys remember it's only impossible until it no longer is and I'll see you next time thanks for hanging out with me I appreciate you guys